Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to every one of you who have subscribed. I woke up this morning and found out I just hit 12,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. Never in a million years would I have believed that this channel, which I started on a dare, would have grown into what it is. And I have each and every one of you to thank. And with that out of the way, now on to the decals. And as you can see, this is the decal set for Transformers Studio Series 86 Perceptor. And you get three decal sheets, all on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Perceptor, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Perceptor looks great and very faithful to how he looked in the 1986 Transformers the movie. Now taking a closer look at the figure, he does have some pretty nice paint applications there on the head sculpt. Yellow for the crest, blue eyes, and silver face. Behind the translucent plastic right here that I actually don't mind this time, he's got a white Autobot logo. Silver right there for the stomach. He's got some silver paint applications there for the dials on his arms. And really that is about it for paint applications. There is some black here on the front and back of the microscope and silver right there for the dial. So all in all, not a bad looking figure, but now let's see what Toy Hex can do for him. So there you go guys, one final look at Perceptor in robot mode before and after. Perceptor gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. And what's really cool is Toy Hacks gives you multiple options so you can make him look like however you choose. We'll start off by looking at his head first. He's got a new yellow decal right there on the crest and new blue decals for the eyes. Now the options there are you can have, let me see if I can find them. There we are, you have chrome decals that you can put on the crest instead of the yellow. And you also have chrome eyes, yellow eyes, or for you IDW fans, you can do the little targeting rectangle over an eye. So yeah, you got options for the head sculpt right there. On top of his shoulder mounted cannon or microscope barrel, you got an Autobot logo there and some chrome right around the tip. On the chest, he gets a new decal that actually goes inside the chest area. You actually put the decal here on the inside so it shows through the translucent plastic. And what's awesome is the adhesive part has the collar. So I chose red. You also have a blue option here. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna stand up. So right here, you peel this off and there's the blue underneath. And I think that is really cool how they did that. They also have an option here for kind of a green looking decal with some cybernetics. I think that's IDW as well. So there's your multiple options. Now, if you do want to use the green one, you still want to put one of these decals here on the inside because that's going to give the microscope tray a mirror finish. So lots of options for the chest right there. New blue decal for the stomach area, Autobot logo for the chest. On the arms, you get these red chrome decals and decals right here that apply more for microscope mode. New chrome decals for the dials. And I love how these work. You have a decal that goes around that raised edge and then a separate decal that's gonna go on that or on the top. More chrome on this one and chrome decal there on top of the microscope barrel. 
Moving on down, there is a tiny decal that goes right inside, I don't know, his belly button. That was kind of a challenge to put on. New decals here on the thighs, decals on the knees, and right below the knee there. Decals here on the legs, and those are a throwback to the G1 toy, which I have right here. So I love that. Anytime there are G1 throwbacks, kudos to you, Toy Hacks. And let's see, back of the figure, there are decals right here that cover up those pins. So all in all, quite impressive what they've done to Perceptor here. So there you go, Perceptor in robot mode after. In microscope mode, straight out of the packaging, there's really nothing new to go over. You've already seen everything in robot mode, and the only real difference with the microscope is the chest has flipped down, so you have the translucent plastic right there that, you know, you can look right through, but really, that's about it. So there you go, guys. There is Perceptor in microscope mode before and after. Now there's not a lot in Perceptor's microscope mode that we haven't already seen, but the chrome on the dials really stand out a lot more in this mode. You've got a new big Autobot symbol right there on the microscope itself, and new chrome decal all the way around this front section right here. Now, down here on the microscope tray, I'm not sure what that's called, you have some options. You've got the mirror background from the decal from earlier, and right there are some microscope slides. The one I chose is a microchip. You also have a Decepticon insignia, Microbots, Brawn and Bumblebee, and a purple Decepticon insignia. So you do have some pretty cool options for the tray. There on the side of the microscope is those Generation 1 toy style decals, decals here on the leg section, and up here below the dials, you've got the adjustments, the 14 times, which is on both sides. So there you go, guys. There's Perceptor in microscope mode after. In tank mode, straight out of the packaging, there's still not a lot to look at that's any different from what we've already seen. Though in this mode, you do have the tank treads a lot more prominent. So there is nice sculpted details with those, but really not much to talk about. So there you go, guys. There's Perceptor in tank mode before and after. Perceptor's tank mode only gets a few new decals right here above the treads. You get these black decals here and here. And I forgot to point these out earlier. There are decals right here on the barrel. That one has measurements there, and this side is just a black one. And there's also new decals right there. So, there you have Perceptor's tank mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Transformers Studio Series 86 Perceptor is a perfect example of less is more. This is one of the less busy decal sets that I've applied in quite some time, and I think it really, really works for Perceptor. He didn't need a lot of decals, but what he has really works, especially with the chrome dials and the Generation 1 toy throwbacks. Not to mention, I love the options for the chest. I almost went blue for this version of Perceptor, but I remembered I had a blue chest for my Titan's Return Perceptor, thanks to Toy Hacks as well. So I stuck with the red chest for more of that G1 cartoon look. Now in honor of my channel hitting 12,000 subscribers today, I have an extra set of Toy Hacks decals for Studio Series 86 Perceptor that I'm going to give away to one lucky subscriber. And all you have to do to win is comment on this video Congratulations, Patriot Prime, on 12K. And then next week, I'll do a live show where I will pick a winner live. You do have to be a subscriber of this channel. So stay tuned and watch for my live show next week. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button now, which is like donations, or you can become a channel member. 
And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!